Welcome to this poster presentation describing classification accuracy for the detection of biomarker confirmed MCI due to AD in the ADNI 3 study using the COGSTATE brief battery. The COGSTATE brief battery is a digital cognitive assessment evaluating psychomotor function, attention, learning, and working memory. The assessment was designed for use in clinical trials and for the measurement of change, and so is short at less than 15 minutes, suitable for use in any language or culture, and has demonstrated sensitivity to effects of fatigue, alcohol, sedative drugs, and also cognition enhancing drugs, such as the cholinesterase inhibitors. Its use in the ABLE study showed its ability to track disease progression in AD, associations with amyloid, but also the potential to distinguish MCI and dementia with high accuracy. In being both simple for participants to use and fully automated in administration and scoring, use in remote and unsupervised contexts has also been validated. The CBB then had a number of valuable properties, which led to its inclusion in a pilot for the ADNI-2 study. ADNI-2 showed that both in-clinic supervised assessment and at-home unsupervised assessment were able to show discrimination between participants with MCI and those who were cognitively normal. In addition, the in-clinic and remote assessments were shown to be equivalent. After this successful pilot in ADNI-2, the CBB was included in ADNI-3. During the conduct of ADNI-3, evaluation of the one-card learning test identified both a relatively high participant burden with the test taking around six minutes to complete, and that adjustment to task difficulty may improve co performance in cognitively normal participants, which might help to improve classification accuracy. This was demonstrated in a series of analyses that showed improved performance of a short form of the one card learning test, the OCL48. OCL48 takes around four minutes to complete, has improved performance in healthy adults, and has shown better discrimination of cognitive impairment. The data presented here are based on a published scaling algorithm to convert long form OCL data as used in ADNI-3 to short form OCL-48. As can be seen in the present poster, the one card learning accuracy measure showed good classification accuracy for biomarker confirmed MCI at both the in-clinic supervised and at home unsupervised assessments. This is encouraging for the ability of the CBB to support diagnosis of MCI due to AD without significantly impacting clinical workflows and when in combination with a biomarker. Thank you for listening.